Now let us do one thing here. Just few minutes back, we started with brainstem. And the brainstem, you remember, I turned that in the front. I showed you the ventral aspect for the very first time. You might be like, what is this one? Oh my God. So many structures in the ventral aspect of the brainstem. Now, I challenge all my students. Yes, my dear friends, hardly few minutes. And you are now perfect with each and every structure in this diagram. Let them give this diagram in any exam, whether you are preparing for any exam, whether it is NEET PG, INA set, FMG, USMLE or PLAB, of course, the ventral aspect of brainstem is not going to change. And my student now knows each and every structure in this diagram here. So let us see all these structures one by one in this beautiful animation over here, sir. Okay, so number one, yes, this structure is olfactory tract. Just now I've shown you that one. And then after that, this structure over here will be the anterior perforated substance. See, the moment I'm actually highlighting the structure, you try to answer this one so that you yourself can get some more confidence. Yes, you are able to now identify all the structures in the neuroanatomy over here. Okay, so the next one over here. Yes, of course, this crossing is optic chiasma. And then this one here will be the optic tract. And I think you have already have learned in ophthalmology also the visual pathway. In visual pathway, we'll know that there'll be first of all, you'll be having the eyeball. From the eyeball, there'll be optic nerve, then there'll be optic chiasma, then optic tract. And optic tract will continue behind into the lateral geniculate body. In visual pathway, we'll be having lateral geniculate body. Don't get confused with the medial geniculate body. L for light, L for lateral geniculate body. This is how we remember. Okay, M for music, M for medial geniculate body. So medial geniculate body comes under auditory pathway, whereas lateral geniculate body comes in visual pathway. Then after that, of course, we know this structure that is infundibulum, followed by that, there will be tuber cinerium, followed by that, this one is mammillary body, and then followed by that, this one here will be the posterior perforated substance, and then this is the cranial nerve number three. All of them I taught you in the interpedicular fossa contents. And of course, this part in the middle here will be the crus cerebri, which is a part of your cerebral peduncle only. Okay. And then later to that, the nerve which is coming from behind will be the fourth nerve. That is your trochlear nerve. And this one here is pons. And this one here will be the middle cerebellar peduncle. And what is the nerve coming out at the junction of pons and middle cerebellar peduncle? That will be the fifth nerve which is going to come out. Sir. Of course, this one here will be the part of your cerebellum part here which is going to connect with the middle cerebellar peduncle that is flocculus of the cerebellum there and this is the cut surface of the temporal loop fine now this one here will be the trigeminal nerve so trigeminal nerve is coming out between the pons and the middle cerebellar peduncle here and then this is your sixth nerve which is coming out at the ponto pyramidal junction to be more specific seventh nerve will be coming out at the ponto olivary junction between the pons and the olive and then of course the eighth nerve lateral to that one we can simply say that it is coming out from the ponto medullary junction. This will be the choroid plexus of the fourth ventricle. Choroid plexus of the fourth ventricle, which is actually coming out from the lateral aperture. And then this one here is pyramid. And then this one here will be the olive. Between the pyramid and olive, there will be twelfth nerve, hypoglossal nerve. And then lateral to the olive, there will be glossopharyngeal nerve, ninth one. And then the vagus, tenth one. And then the accessory nerve, that is eleventh one. So 9th, 10th and 11th are coming out later to olive there. Now in this diagram, if you want like further in information here, that will be the decusation of the pyramidal tract here, sir. Fine. I'll tell you about the pyramidal tract later on. The descending tract will actually decusate. That is pyramidal decusation. And further, these nerve roots which are coming out, that is nothing but the first spinal nerve rootlets which are going to come out here. So in this manner, mainly, mainly, my intention here, my dear friends, is that the moment my students are looking at this diagram of ventral aspect of the brainstem, you should be able to identify each and every structure. And I hope now you are able to identify each and every structure on this ventral aspect of the brainstem.